Hi everybody, it's Dandruff with your news cartridge for Tuesday, January 16th, 2018. Today's top story is about PUBG and China because developer Tencent has brought charges against 120 PUBG hackers and had them arrested. These 120 are members of over 30 different organizations in China that create hacking tools on a daily basis, with some of them selling for around 15 US dollars each. Even PUBG's creator Brendan Green says most people who are cheating are playing from China, but it's really surprising to me to see Tencent, who is arguably a competitor to both Blue Hole and PUBG Corp helping out. This isn't going to completely stop the hacking problem that PUBG faces, but it does give reason to deter future creators of malicious software. It's going to take some time for these arrests to have an effect, so stay tuned to News Cartridge for more updates on PUBG. On to release announcements. Square Enix revealed today Final Fantasy XV's PC version will release on March 6th, along with the PC requirements, which can be found through the links in the description down below. The Hidden Ones DLC is coming to Assassin's Creed Origins next week on Tuesday, January 23rd. And then Dynasty War Warriors 9 finally has a release date coming to us on February 9th to PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Moving on to some update news with World of Warcraft. Getting updated to version 7.3.5 today, and now all zones scale to your level just like zones in Legion, meaning you can level and quest anywhere you like and rewards will scale too. Star Wars Battlefront 2 has gotten updated, adding a new 10v10 multiplayer mode called Blast. Moving on to this one, with VG247 writing an article about how Steam games cannot have a discount for 30 days after their launch discount. And I've got to say, what's the big deal here? Oh no, you had a discount at launch and you can't have another one for 30 days. It's really not that much time, you know. I expect this crap out of Kotaku, but not you, VG247. Apparently a dev had released their game too close to the winter sale and then wasn't able to put their game on discount again. Oh no, boohoo. Moving on to something with substance, a Polish website is claiming CD Projekt Red's upcoming game, Cyberpunk 2077, will be shown off at E3 this year. This is only a rumor, but CDPR is a Polish company, so that much makes sense. However, there's another rumor going around that Cyberpunk will have a trailer at E3, but only shown off behind closed doors. Is it wrong for me to want something to be leaked so bad? Moving on from there, thanks to a Twitch investigation, a spammer is being charged with mischief in Canada. Brandon Apple, who made a program to spam Twitch chats, is facing criminal charges along with a lawsuit brought on by Twitch. The lawsuit ends with Canada barring Apple from creating services that can be used to harm Twitch while the criminal charges are still ongoing. According to Twitch, the spam affected 1,000 streamers with over 150,000 messages, most of which contained racial or sexist language. Twitch discovered that Apple was behind it after he streamed himself working on it on Twitch TV. What a moron! I don't even know what to say about that- Epic Games is suing yet another cheater, this time for creating premium currency within Fortnite, yet again showing that gone are the days of Epic sending signed posters to internationally wanted criminals. The person being sued this time is Yash Gosai, who supposedly made an exploit allowing people to gain V-Bucks, Fortnite's paid-for in-game currency, for free. The lawsuit lists copyright infringement, breach of contract, and conversion. Epic Games is looking for relief and damages, and for Gosai to immediately destroy all copies of Fortnite or any other work featuring Fortnite gameplay. Play. Well, at least they aren't trying to take a kid who isn't old enough to drive to court this time. The judgment will be available for 13,500 V-Bucks. And finally, a new game store is going to open soon called Robot Cash, where people will be able to resell their games and receive up to 25% of the cost back in cryptocurrency. They are introducing their own currency called Iron, which can be mined through traditional cryptocurrency means. Basically, you get a bunch of graphics cards, hook them all up together, and tell it to go nuts. This is a really interesting idea, but I doubt it's going to take off. Remember that one program that was supposed to protect early access games, I haven't heard anything about them since I last reported on it. Who knows, maybe I'm wrong and iron will be worth as much as Bitcoin one day, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. You can't buy these games with cryptocurrency, it's tomorrow's game releases. For PC, Day of Destruction, Pure Football 2018. Meanwhile, an interactive comic adventure, Bold Blade, Play With Me, and Maze of Adventures. For PlayStation 4, Star Drone, and Star Drone VR. For Xbox One, Full Metal Furies. Thank you very much everybody, this has been News Cartridge. I am Dandruff, I will see you tomorrow. And did you hear about the drummer who named all of his daughters the same name? And a one, and a two, and a three. Another day, another great episode. Thank you so much for watching my show, everybody. Hit the like button if you liked it. Hit the dislike button if you did not like my show. But either way, it helps me out. Click up here to watch the bonus cartridge for today's episode. And click down here to watch yesterday's episode, which was about Quantic Dreams facing allegations against their workplace. And click over here to subscribe. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye.